Hello, I'm Ken from Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video I wanted to talk about the Orion 80mm ED uh, binocular spotting scope. So, this is a pretty unique product. I, I, I can't think of another uh, time that we've had something quite like this. I've, I've never really seen a spotting scope that's got binocular vision on it. So, it's pretty unique, pretty fun. Um, your brain works a lot better in stereo, so uh, you, you see a lot of detail. So let me go through uh, the features of the uh, binocular spawning scope and uh, show you what it's all about. All right, first of all, before I get to the most unique feature, uh, it is a spawning scope. It's an 80 millimeter uh, spawning scope with an 80 millimeter ED lens. Uh, one of the lenses inside is uh, made out of uh, Ohara uh, FPL 53 glass, so it's nice and high quality ED that's extra low dispersion glass. Uh, which means you don't get any false color, the, the chromatic aberration. So looking at bright objects out there, um, you don't get that kind of reddish, bluish, maybe purplish halo around objects. All the light from the blue end to the red end of the spectrum is nicely focused, leading to a very high contrast, uh, sharp image. It uses standard astronomy eyepieces, so it comes with a set of 12.5s. Let me loosen it up here. Um, you can change those out depending on what magnification you want. It's a 500 millimeter focal length, uh, that's f6.25, so uh, you can vary that magnification based on what eyepiece you put into it. Now, the really unique feature, it uses a binocular head. Instead of uh, squinting through one eye like you do in a normal spotting scope, you're using a set of eyepieces and lights coming through both eyes. So, you know, just like, you know, trying to read a book with, with one eye shut, it's really awkward and, and you can do it, but it's not very intuitive. With two eyes, you just see more detail out there. So, um, a very comfortable way to view uh, 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 objects off in the distance for terrestrial viewing. Now, since this also uses a standard astronomy eyepieces, you can bump the magnification up and use this for astronomy as well. So uh, put in a pair of six millimeter eyepieces, say, and you've got, uh, what's that gonna be, 500 divided by six. So just a little bit under 100 magnification. Um, great for lunar craters, uh, rings of Saturn, moons around Jupiter. Um, and even without all that, using the 12.5 millimeter eyepieces with an 80 millimeter lens, that's good to suck in some light for some of the brighter deep sky objects as well. So uh, pointing this at uh, the Orion Nebula, for instance, or the Andromeda Galaxy, you can actually see some, uh, some nice detail. So a very uh, a, a dual purpose uh, spawning scope designed for terrestrial viewing and some astronomy. So the binocular head itself uh, uses compression locks to hold the eyepieces nice and solidly. Uh, just drop them in, lock it down. It's got a swivel head so you can go for any angle. Uh, that actually makes this nice if you're putting this on an equatorial mount. You can rotate the uh, angle of the eyepieces so no matter where the uh, equatorial mount is in relation to the scope, you can level out the eyepieces so you don't have to bend over and, and contort it into some weird angle. Uh, focus is on the main scope right here. There's a diopter adjustment on the, uh, on the right eyepiece, so you can fine tune it for your eyeballs. Uh, let's say you're uh, taking your glasses off and you're not perfectly 20-20 in both eyes, you can tune it in for each eye to get the, the sharpest possible image. There's a captive uh, cap on the front, so you're not going to lose that. And uh, the eyepieces are threaded for filters since they are uh, standard astronomy eyepieces. Um, if you were to point this at the moon, it could be pretty bright. So maybe a set of uh, 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 standard neutral density moon filters might be nice. On the bottom, uh, this attaches to any standard photo tripod. And right here I've got it on our Paragon Plus. So if you're doing uh, daytime terrestrial spotting, this is perfect. Or if you had any photo tripod for your camera at home, uh, as long as it can hold the, the weight of this, it's a little over five pounds. Um, as long as your tripod can, is rated for that, this would work uh, for terrestrial viewing. We also include a Vixen dovetail rail, that's the narrow dovetail uh, rail to attach to the bottom of the tripod socket here. So you can stick this onto any equatorial mount that accepts a standard Vixen rail. So our Skyview Pro, um, the AstroView mount, all those guys uh, uh, allow uh, to attach a Vixen dovetail rail, so this would work on those. Uh, the lenses are fully multi-coated, so you get the most light transmission through the telescope. Um, eyepiece is also fully multi-coated, so a nice high contrast, bright image. The scope also comes with a uh, hard-shelled uh, waterproof case, so you can protect it. Um, foam fitted, so it's not going to bounce around inside, uh, a very sturdy, rugged case. Uh, there's also spots in the case for an extra set of eyepieces, so uh, let's say you, it comes with the low power starting set, that's 40 power, I don't think I mentioned that before, but 40 magnification, um, get your set of 6 millimeter eyepieces and you can store it all inside the included case. 
And then the last thing I wanted to say about this is why you would pick something like this over, say, a large binocular. We have some uh, uh, 80 millimeter or 100 millimeter binoculars or, or uh, binocular telescopes um, that use two lenses. Well, those are nice because they're also two eyepieces, but they're a lot heavier than this because they they actually have two telescopes mounted side by side, right? A binocular is basically two telescopes. This saves a lot of space um, and weight because it's one lens and then two eyepieces. So. Uh, just by definition, it's it's like half the size of an 80 millimeter binocular. So when you're traveling around, you need something very compact and portable. This is like the ideal solution. All right, well, there you have it. This is the 80 millimeter uh, ED binocular spawning scope. Thank you very much. Clear skies.